From beautiful waters to wild ponies, Shinkatig and Asatig were a dream to explore. Join us as we share our adventures with you. Do we find a pony? <laughs> And just like that, we were off for another adventure, passing the most beautiful green marshes and waterways until we reached Chincoteig Island. Right now, we are on an island called Chincoteig, and it's said to be an Indian name, meaning beautiful land across the water. How cool is that? So what better place to start than on the waterfront? After the waterfront, we found a farmer's market, so we had to take a stroll through. <laughs> Hello from Chincoteague Island. We still need to make sure we're pronouncing it right from a local, but we got on the island. There was so much to do that we were hungry and decided the best place to start was with some food. <laughs> Now we are balling on a budget, so we went to the local grocery store and got some potato wedges and wing dings. Spent a total of 10 bucks, five bucks a person for our lunch. We did take a walk around the farmer's market. Um, now we're just gonna eat some food and then it's time to explore. Ice cream after food. <laughs> flavor did you get? Cookie dough. One of the original. The OG cookie dough. Never failed. What flavor did you get, babe? Salt marsh, which is dark chocolate with salt and caramel. And Java chip? Java jolt. Java something, which is coffee. And brown, I think. I haven't tried it yet. But it, this, this one's really good. When I get ice cream, I like to get two half scoops so that I can try two different flavors, but only get one scoop. After ice cream, we went to the museum, and although we didn't take a walk through it, we met the awesome people who worked there, had a blast talking to them, and Brad was willing to share his favorite part about working there. So we've met Brad here at the Museum of Chincoteague Island. He has been a wealth of wisdom, and this is his tidbit that he wanted to share. I do. Nicest thing that I see in this museum is the positive interaction between adults and children in this museum. It's, it makes me feel good. That's awesome. All right. Thank you, Brad. You're welcome. Okay, one thing that we have learned is how to pronounce the name of the island. It's spelled with a C-H, but you pronounce it with an S-H. So, Shinkatig. Shinkatig. Then we headed to Asatig Island. It did cost about $10 for a day pass. I think if you're going by foot or bicycle, it's free. So you may want to look that up, but there's awesome things to do on the island. So it's totally worth it. We started our explorations with the lighthouse. So the lighthouse is just a short two minute walk right up this lovely shaded path. Lighthouse round two. So we are going up the Essentay Lighthouse. This is our second lighthouse. This one has seven sets of 25 steps. So you do the math. <laughs> but we just heard that you can see the ponies from the top. Because there's a lot of ponies on this island. So we're excited to be here. <laughs> fact about this lighthouse. The lighthouse used to be closer to the water right here, but because it is a barrier island, the barrier islands have rolled over and essentially over the last 100 years, they created this forest. So now it's a lighthouse, just slightly removed from the water. From the top, you can also see this house, which is where the lighthouse keeper and their family would typically live. But by far the coolest part was getting a bird's eye view of the ponies. This is one of the main attractions of this island and why so many people come to visit.
Also, in case you are wondering, the lighthouse is free, but they do accept donations. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, all your money. Next, we headed to the beach. I don't think either of us were expecting how crowded it was going to be. <laughs> so we parked, dipped our toes in the water, took a quick look around, and then decided to jump back in the car and continue the adventure. What did we find? A pony, a <laughs> lot <old> pony. <laughs> Look how cool. The wild ponies. Wow. Time to get on one and tame them and saddle them and ride them around the beach. <laughs> Fucking old western. So right now we're driving around the, what is it, wildlife loop? Yeah. The wildlife loop after three o'clock, you can take your car around here, which is slightly better than walking in this heat. Otherwise, I mean, you could have a bicycle and ride around here. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Or scooter. We haven't seen much wildlife on the wildlife loop. But it's been a pretty nice little drive. <laughs> Here's some marsh, you wanna see some marsh? Oh, the geese! Alrighty, we made it around the wildlife loop. We saw geese and some humans. It's pretty wild. <laughs> some pretty wild geese. Yeah, there was a spot that you could walk like half a mile to beach access. I'm not sure I would ever walk the wildlife loop. I think the car was a good decision. I think so too. After the wildlife loop, we headed back to Shinkatig to grab some dinner. What'd you get to eat? Uh, crab cake. Yeah. I got two of them. What'd you get? I got 12 raw oysters, which actually the owner of this restaurant grows in that bay right there. So they're very fresh and delicious. And then the fish of the day is flounder. So I got half of that with a side of hush puppies. Shh, puppy. The flounder and hush puppies. Mac and cheese, oysters, and a crab cake. Then we hopped back in the car to go to our final adventure of the day. What are these? I don't know, but they're large and in charge. Look at them. <laughs> large and hey, in charge. We, we don't make it, honey. Just keep stepping. Oh, come on. Yeah, hold on, my back itch, my neck itch. Oh, hold on, baby, my back Baby, get out the road. My my gosh, scratch my neck. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. You'll be crazy around these cars. For our last adventure of the day, we are going on a sunset boat cruise. Yeah, my family's been here since the 1820s, wow. and um, so I grew up here, and my brother, and you know, yeah, I'm Captain Mark, and uh, I remember reading the book Misty of Shinkatig, our, our mom uh, went to school with the kids from the book, uh, Paul B.B. was in my mom's class, and then the little girl Maureen used to play softball, my mom, they made a Hollywood movie here in 1961, you can see it on YouTube, it's called Misty of Shinkatig. And uh, it's the only time I ever seen my grandfather. Cause it made it in '61. My grandfather died in '62. Wow! So I can see him in the movie. And, Cause they use real people on Shinky Tea in the movie. Well, it's ready to go.
Alrighty, so here is Captain Mark <laughs> and his brother Michael. Michael, yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. So, uh, what did you appreciate most about growing up on the island? Oh, the, the beach close by. You know, so nice when the visitors come here. When I was a kid, it was so much fun playing with all the other kids. You know, at the beach, and, uh, and I grew up surfing here, so that's always fun too. And um, but yeah, it's, uh, the beach nearby is really nice. It's a 37-mile national park beach, wow. and. Um, and you know, so that's that's the best thing. It's just a few minutes from here. So really nice beach here. Yeah, Aztec Island. And, uh, you can follow us on Instagram yeah. and stuff. And, yeah. cool. uh, and we're on YouTube too. You know, hey. yeah. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aztec yeah. Explorer. You got it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know, look us up. Come down, and uh, we'll take you out and see the horses, dolphins, and everything that we can find out here. It's different every time we go. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. awesome. Take care. You guys were great. Thank y'all so much. On our way out, we stopped to check out these awesome old boats. And before we knew it, the sun was setting on another wonderful day. There is something in this region called the green mask fly, and these things are ruthless. It's like they land on you and they put their little hands together and they're just like, oh, I'm just gonna bite you real quick. Like this is a nice piece of dark meat and they just, <laughs> just bite you. Watch out for the green mask fly, y'all. They're not friendly. They are no vigilante. This day was super chill. We explored the area around the corner from where we were staying. And yes, these are crabs. They were all over the islands we explored and near where we were staying. Just tons of little crabs running from you. But after this, we decided to go back to where we were staying and recoup for our next adventure. <laughs> 